Now available in paperback and e-readers, from the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback and e-readers everywhere at online booksellers today. I was on Instagram on Tuesday when there was a post made alleging that there was a small group of American black women who were traveling overseas looking to participate in sex tourism. Now, this individual alleges that when he was underage, he was out here involved with American black women who were looking to participate in sex tourism with teenage boys. And this individual also alleges that there were also many European white women and American white women also participating in this sex tourism, looking to have relationships with young teenage boys in places like Jamaica and the Dominican Republic. Now, I found this post to be quite disturbing, and I found it to be quite disturbing because it looked like somebody was looking to fire a salvo in the ongoing gender war between your passport black males and your passport black females. And I don't really take this, the, uh, this, this allegation as something that should be fired as a salvo in a gender war because these allegations are extremely serious. And they are extremely serious because we have a small contingent of black females participating in the same sexually deviant behavior that some allege some black males participate in. And I believe in both cases, they need to equally be taken seriously. And they need to be ta equally taken seriously because in both cases, this is sexual abuse. Now, most people in our gynocentric society, when it comes down to males who participate in sex tourism, what they will do is say we need to throw the book at these individuals who participate in these sex crimes, but I also believe we need to equally throw the book at many of the women who are participating in this sex tourism because they are participating in the same type of sexual abuse that many say is wrong to for males to do to young girls. Now, in both cases, we have individuals who are participating in sexually deviant acts of pedophilia because what they're looking to do is go out here and have sexual relations with someone under age and in the case of these uh, black, alleged black women, they are participating in sexual deviancy and they're participating in sexual deviancy because I believe they want to have power over a man and they don't want to be able to be held accountable in the courts of law here in America. So this is one of the reasons why they go out and take their passport and go overseas to places like Jamaica and the Dominican Republic because they know if they go to those countries, they won't be pr prosecuted for any sort of crime as related to having sexual relations with, an, uh, with a minor. That's why they go to those countries because that's where they can, again, get away with these crimes. Moreover, they want to go and have relations with these young males because more, it's not about the sex for these women. No, it's about the power. And many teenage boys, they're thinking that they're getting a benefit because they have imbibed a lot of media from America, from places like Madison Avenue, Hollywood, and the porn industry, which promote the idea that a teenage boy having a sexual relationship with an older woman is something positive. However, a sexual relationship between a teenage boy and an older woman is not something positive. No, it is sexual abuse, and it is sexual abuse because that teenage boy is not mentally, emotionally, or spiritually ready for a sexual relationship with a older woman, and he's not really even ready for any sort of sexual relationship yet because 
he is not mentally there to be able to process all of the feelings and all of the different things that are going on inside of him as related to the emotional aspects of a sexual relationship. So yes, this teenage boy may be physically sexually active, but he's not mentally and emotionally and spiritually there to be able to process the feelings that he would be to have as related to having a sexual relationship. So he is not there as related to his mind. And this is something that these female predators, both black and white, take advantage of. They see this young male as somebody they can get power over in the relationship because they are not able to be able to have a healthy relationship with a man. And because they can't have that healthy relationship with a man, they go out here seeking to have an unhealthy one with a boy, hoping that they will be able to control that boy in that relationship. Now, some of these uh, white women from these European and these American countries um, and America, what they want to do is go out here and participate in their sexual fetish where they're hoping to have one of these black or Hispanic males be able to sexually satisfy them because to those women what they're looking for is that boy they think that he's going to be bigger than a white man and again they want to exploit this boy's manhood and take advantage of him and that's what they want to be able to go out here and do on the low and that's why they go out and travel to places like Jamaica and Dominican Republic looking for black teenage boys they go looking to go out here and be able to sate their fetish quietly and then go back to america to or the european country to their white man who will never know that they have been out here having relations with this black boy again sexually deviant behavior but they keep it under wraps and they keep it under wraps because these women they know what they're doing is wrong and they don't want to be caught participating in this criminal behavior. Again, very similar to what goes on with many of what they call these passport guys, both black and white. Both of them go out here and participate in this deviant behavior of sex tourism, looking to go out here and say their sexually deviant fetishes. They go overseas to go out here and participate in their secret sexual fetishes in the place I call in the man crisis, the secret world, and then they go back to the regular world, keeping their world smooth until they eventually wind up getting caught. Because eventually, when it comes down to these individuals who participate in this type of sex tourism, eventually their secrets wind up getting revealed. Now, further on in the post, the individual says that oftentimes what these women black women do and these white women do in some cases is they go out here looking to have this relationship again based on the power aspect and they hope to be able to gain power over the teenage boy through be being having control over economic resources and again this is no different than what they do with Pookie what they want to do is be the head over this man, and what they want to do is foster a codependent relationship with this teenage boy and hope to control him and be able to be have him in, a, in that codependent relationship where she has all the power. And in that relationship, these women go out here and threaten to have this man, this boy arrested. They, hope, they threaten to have him deported if he disobeys them. So basically, they want to take a teenage boy and they want to turn him into what I call an adopted son husband. So basically, they want to take this teenage boy from overseas and they want to turn this teenage boy into this adopted son husband. And he will be provided for if he, do, if he has the relationship on her terms and he has to submit to doing everything on her terms. Again, this is abuse of a male. And again, I, it's not only sexual abuse by taking advantage of this young boy's sexuality, it is also taking advantage of his inability to take care of himself 
And it's a ball about trying to, again, have power and control over a man and be able to emasculate that male and have him present put into a submissive position where he can be broken. So when I take a further critical examination of these kinds of women, again, a lot of these women are showing me that they have serious daddy issues and serious power issues because to, again, have the audacity to go and travel to another country and look to take to sexually abuse a young boy, a teenage boy and to go out here and gain control over that boy that is just some of the sickest things i've ever heard and again these individuals they need to be put under a jailhouse again we would make that type of punishment for the males who participate in this behavior and we need to have the same standard for the women who participate in this behavior now what i found to be quite troubling about these instagram posts overall was the fact that they were like shots being fired in the gender war between your passport bros and your traveling black women I don't really think that this should be a shot that either side should be firing at each other because an allegation of a person participating in sex tourism needs to be taken seriously because a person participating in sex tourism is a sexual deviant as I see it and if they're going after underage boys and girls they are participating in sexual abuse these are sexual predators, and these sexual predators need to be arrested, prosecuted, and convicted if that's the case, and we need to take it seriously, because this is not, to me, a, a shot in a gender war. This is a low blow, and it's a low blow because it just this type of behavior is absolutely sick, and it's the kind of behavior that people need to take seriously. It's the kind of behavior that, as I see it, you know, this is not something that you just go out here and make, and if, and if you're making an allegation about it, it should be about in an effort to stop this type of criminal behavior because it's a crime to go out here and exploit a child like this. It's a crime to take advantage of a child like this. I mean, most people will say, oh, a teenager is on its way, on their way to becoming an adult. But a teenage boy, as I see it, is a boy, and a teenage boy doesn't know much about the world. Yes, he's learned some things about his anatomy in sex education, but he has not learned how to process his feelings, navigate through his emotions, and understand that there are spiritual and emotional bonds in sex. He doesn't understand these things at 14, 15, 16, 17, even 18, 19 years old. I mean, a teenage boy doesn't understand these things, but a grown woman does. And it's a very evil woman who goes out here and preys on a teenage boy. And again, from what I've read about my Historical Women in Crisis series, when I did the research for Mary Kay Letourneau, Again, they go to these places looking to gain power in these relationships because many of these women have issues with submitting to men and being a helpmeet to men. So they hope to get power over a teenage boy and they hope to control the teenage boy, hoping to make him codependent. And again, the, the whole dynamics of this, this is not something I trivialize because I don't see this as something trivial. But when I hear people going out here making statements and allegations like this, I mean, they need to be taken as seriously as possible. And we really need to, to really not even be making this a talking point as related to your passport bros and your passport females. No, this needs to be discussed as the sex crime it actually is. While it may be legal in that country, it is just amoral for an American black woman to participate in this behavior and it's just as i say it completely Im immoral to just even think about such a thing but it's just absolutely something that again sickens and disgusts me and it sickens and disgusts me that there are some that want to fire this as a shot in a gender war when we need to be taking it as seriously as possible because again if this person will go out here and prey on a teenage boy overseas 
there's it's just a matter of time before they start preying on teenage boys here in America because from my research on in books like the man crisis and the woman crisis this type of sexual deviancy gets progressively worse and again while this person may do this in the secret world in a foreign country in the beginning eventually they will bring their deviant behavior to America and when they bring their deviant behavior to America they could prey on one of our children and again this is where people need to take it seriously because again this this is a child a teenage boy is a child and he needs to be seen as a boy and we really need to understand that a boy doesn't know how to process a relationship with an older woman the way a man does so when I look at this allegation again it was just absolutely troubling to me and I don't know what's more troubling to me the fact that there are a small contingent of black females participating in this depraved behavior like that small contingent of passport bros or the fact that there's a bunch of other males who think that this is a valid um, shot the fire in their gender war again just really troubling behavior overall because this type of allegation when you hear this type of allegation it's something that should make us all get serious because this type of allegation shows us that there is a, a group of really sick women out there just like there is a group of sick men and both groups need to be held accountable to by law enforcement and they also need to be called out for their depraved and twisted behavior. Now, if you want to learn more about what leads to people becoming dysfunctional like this, you can pick up my books, The Man Crisis and The Woman Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis and The Woman Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashworth, the iBookstore, and Google Play. Now, this video will not be monetized, and if you want to continue to support the, the channel, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, and my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.